You might be ready to unclutter your life. Studies find getting rid of clutter can not only lead to a tidier home, but also it may bring you a happier life. You just have to bring yourself to unclutter. You gotta do the work. You gotta do it. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the unexpected benefits of getting organized. Well, yeah, Xander and Jason, you know, the practice of decluttering is actually very trendy right now, spurred on in large part by Marie Kondo's hit show, Tidying Up. But many people who start clearing out their homes, they're finding it not only affects their family's physical space, but also their mental outlook. This is how it started. And then it moved into all my shoes being in containers. And then I got this shoe organizer. For realtor Jordan McMakin, all these hangers had clothes on them that are given away to someone who could actually wear them. The realization of having too much. I had six tie-dye t-shirts. I was like, hmm, I might need those for something. Finally set in after constantly telling her clients to declutter. I figured out this might actually benefit us too. Once she started. Took hair accessories from a thousand to a key 20 pieces. <laughs> she discovered more than just organized cabinets. It really has helped me declutter everything in my life. It's like as soon as I started organizing my closet and my drawers and the kitchen and compartmentalizing everything, there was just clarity with other parts of my life. And I know that sounds strange, but I started getting organized with goals that I needed to do for the day, planning out my week. It just stemmed into all facets of my life. That actually doesn't sound strange to psychologist Rebecca Corona. Having a cluttered environment sometimes makes it difficult to see the possibilities. And once it's clear, you're able to concentrate, see things a little bit better, anything is possible, which can bring joy to someone. She says the physical act of decluttering can release the same endorphins as exercise, which makes you feel emotionally better. If you've wanted to declutter but haven't found the motivation yet, Experts say spring can be the perfect time for a fresh start. It's part of the renewal of spring. I think it's correlated with the you know lifting of our moods. We get more active behaviorally, and this is one of the activities. And once you reach your goals, your space can become an instant de-stressor. Once we're able to see that we can cope and that we can manage without those belongings, we might feel better. And sometimes even just seeing that stuff makes us anxious. Supporting the idea that tidying up clears the mess, and your mind. So it's really important to note, clutter is not all bad. In fact, one study found having a clean, orderly desk tends to promote conventional thinking, while having a messy, disorganized desk leads to more creativity and fresh ideas, and maybe that's just my excuse. I've so heard that before, though. If I just put my junk in a nice, orderly fashion, it's it's fine. Yeah, you'll be more creative. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, I think a lot of people <laughs> feel like they want to declutter and they want to do this, but they're so overwhelmed because they have so much stuff everywhere. Yeah, well, you know, the psychologists actually say that it's important to really understand that this process takes time. It doesn't happen overnight, and they really suggest that you start with a space that bothers you the most, work on it consistently. The best way to ensure that you're actually going to keep decluttering is to just kind of schedule it on a calendar and hack away at it slowly in areas that matter to you most first. Yeah. And you'll feel good, you will. Yeah. I mean, I think all of us feel better when we get yes. rid of junk. Feel great when you throw those bags out. Yeah. Just cleaned just out my junk drawer, hard by to the get way, to that yesterday. Point. Man, that in the middle of the night. Wow. Feels so much better. See? If you can handle a junk drawer, you can handle anything. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr.